Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The 16th of November, Thursday of the week of Pentecost 24. W.E. Sangster, S-A-N-G-S-T-E-R, 1900-1960. The men who are quoted as being good without religion are often, in a special sense, the product of the faiths they profess to despise. It can be shown that the very foundation of their character was put under direct Christian influence, and their love of truth, their clear demarcation of right and wrong, and that their high idealism run back to the Nazarene. Sir Samuel Romley is often quoted as a great and good man who proves the independence of morality from religion. He rejected the Christian faith, but did a remarkable work in humanizing our national prison codes. He was a good man, though he was not a religious one, yet his biographer makes clear that he was the grandson of Huguenot refugees, people who had fled from France for their faith, choosing to live as aliens in a strange land than to give up their vision of God and he was brought up under the most definite of Christian and evangelical influence in a home where Christ was put first and the nobility and high moral quality of his character run back to that. Religion is more than a bit buttress to morality, but it is that. Our faith is not exhausted as a regulator of conduct, but it is a regulator of conduct. Without it, morality lacks achieving dynamic. In days of peace, the protestations of the prophet seem morbid and irrelevant, but in times of war, even the unwilling are forced to concede the pertinence of what he said. And if this be true without the compass of an individual life, it is not less true in the life of nations. Stifle the religion of Christ, deny the pulpit liberty to apply the gospel to social and national questions, kill or imprison her pastors, and you have wounded the community in a vital place. The prayer, Polycarp, 69, 155. May God the Father and the ever-living High Priest of Jesus Christ strengthen us in faith, truth, and love and give to us our portion among the saints with all those who trust in our Lord Jesus Christ. We pray for all saints, for kings and governors, for the enemies of the cross of Christ, and for ourselves. We pray that our fruit may abound and we might be made complete in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen.